Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. So what excites you about the next matchup? We have a good combo of great guards and bigs in this series. Yeah, uh, Minnesota is a great team. Great team. Uh, it's going to be great atmosphere here. Uh, you know, it's always tough to play here. Uh, they have an amazing crowd. Uh, but as I, you know, uh, how good they are. Uh, we know how good they are. Uh, so I think it's going to be a really fun matchup. Is there anything last round that you guys feel like you, you figured out or that clicked as a team that makes you more ready for this next round? Uh, not really. We just knew, uh, you know, uh, no matter what happens, we got to stay together. Uh, that's been kind of our motto, uh, our motto, just to go through everything together, uh, stay together no matter what. Uh, always been. Uh, like I said, we've been together five months. Uh, always been very, very confident. Uh, so that didn't change after the series. Being a fan of basketball and great basketball, what's it been like to watch Anthony Edwards and what, what will that challenge be like defensively? Unbelievable. Uh, unbelievable player uh, on both sides. Uh, doing all the little things to help the, his team win. Uh, but unbelievable talent, uh, obviously. Athletic wise, uh, we're similar. They're, we've done the same. Uh, but, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, he's an unbelievable player. Uh, he's still young. He's, what, 22? Uh, that's young. And you can see he's been built for this. And he's been amazing, amazing to watch him all the time. What, if, what do you remember about the 22-year-old basketball version of yourself? Uh, you gotta remind me when when was that? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I would have to look. Three yeah, years, three years ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Twenty-one. Uh, so you were uh, second. I, I felt well, I felt way younger yeah. than now. <laughs> <laughs> this team has been so good defensively over the back half of the season. How much of a role does like Coach Green play? In a lot. Uh, he does all the schemes. He does the scouting for defense. Uh, so he helps a lot. He talks to us and. Since the day he came here, you know, he's been a great addition to this team. Uh, so I'm really happy that he's on our team and he helps us a lot. Look, how are you doing physically now, especially with uh, me? Good. How much progress has been made? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see today, honestly. They didn't do much. Uh, this couple of days, just rest, treat. Uh, that's about it. Uh, obviously, Jaden McDaniels and Lou Dort don't exactly look alike, but you know, you go from one defender to another. What, what's unique about McDaniels defensively? Uh, he can guard one through five for sure. Uh, he's a great defender. You know, when you asked him about that top three, I forgot about McDaniels. <laughs> As I told you, some, some people are going to be pissed, but I forgot about him. Uh, but he's definitely in top three. Uh, he's been doing incredible offensively. He has long hands. Uh, he can jump. So uh, he's locked in, and he's going to be tough to go against him. I, I won't make you tell me who you're picking out of the top three now. No, no, no. <laughs> We're good on that one. Who's the best lob catcher? Josh. Me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a great relationship, uh, you know, uh, he understands me, he understands me and Kai, he's been in the same position as a player, uh, so he, he understands what we go through and he helps a lot just talking to us, what he sees on the court, what he would do and that's that's amazing to have as a coach. Luca, how much, uh, so I've been talking to like Slovenians who are like staying up overnight to watch you, watch your games at like 4 a.m., you know, over at Liana. How much do you hear about that or, you know, have friends send you just about how much excitement there is right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable that people wake up at 4, 3 a.m. Uh, to watch me, uh, especially for my home country. It means a lot to me. Uh, you know, uh, I know my close close people, I know they wake up, uh, but I don't know about other people. Uh, but I think they do, so it's really a pleasure. Do you remember that at all when, like, uh, I guess Kopitar, when he was with the LA Kings, I think you were still in Slovenia then. Do you remember how much excitement there was, you know, for that hockey run, the Stanley Cup run? Do you remember that at all? When was that? Uh, Kopitar, that would have been 2012 when they won the Stanley Cup. I don't remember. I was in Spain. I was a kid, so. In, in 2012, and, I did? Okay. Yeah. I was in Spain already, so yeah. I don't really remember. Okay. So being back, what's the conference final for the second time of the year? So you can be able to appreciate that as a player. I know you've got 
guys have a job to do, which is getting to this point twice now. That's got to mean a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, never take it for granted, you know, like Kai said. And especially in the West. Uh, the West has been stacked uh, these last couple of years. Uh, and it's insane. Anybody can win anybody. So uh, I really appreciate being here for the second time in three years. Uh, it's a blessing, and you know we just got to keep it going. All right. Thanks, Thank Luca. you. Thank you, Luca. You Thank you, Luca. Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it, Bobby. Yeah. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top. Woo, woo. Had to get it with my guys. Never stop. Woo, woo. Mr. Go and split the. Never stop. Woo, woo. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top.